today, we nearly lost our strongest dinosaur again. Yeah, I can't even say that like it's a rare thing that wouldn't ordinarily happen because we've done exactly that way too many times now. My poor Dibop for done here, mate. You had this tiniest little slither of health. Don't worry, I will not be sacrificing you again because I think I've found a little old workaround towards moving forward. Basically, I don't think we need to be targeting a prime Wyvern just yet. I think they're a little bit beyond our reach we need to turn our attention somewhere else somewhere in the mythical region i think we got to turn back to our manticores but to be more specific instead of raising them breeding them or hatching them i think we're going to be evolving them after last video i wanted to release my frustrations that wyvern yesterday did an absolute number to us and i just thought i needed to go out and kill some prime so i went on a little bit of a prime hunt and by a little bit i went on a massive prime hunt we took down some king kongs some mantises i even took down our very first deodon in fact this guy here for some reason then spawns a zomdodo on me i don't even know how that happened anyways i took them both down which was pretty freaking sweet and the best part about it is we got a ton of loot. Look at all of this, including a Pteranodon Pygmy summoning artifact. But that's not even the exciting part. The exciting part is this. I got an Apex Phoenix Prime summoning artifact. I think it was the Deodon that I killed that gave me that. Uh, but basically what this means is I can just do this. And we now have ourselves a Prime Phoenix. Just like that. Why? I can't tell you, but we've got one. Uh, except that's not where the excitement ends. Because if we hop over here, we actually have two of these. <laughs> because something else went and dropped one too. So out of nowhere, um, double Prime Phoenixes. Yes. I don't know what these guys are capable of. I don't know how strong they are. All I know is I've killed a few of them. Um, and for some reason, some Prime Dinosaurs dropped them all of a sudden. I don't know if we've just never gotten lucky up until now or if we just used up all of our luck yesterday um yeah two free primes that we can do what we want with we can fly them we can sacrifice them or we can get them killed i think we're probably going to end up sacrificing them to be honest but this is basically everything that we sort of ended up with finally got a dota cura saddle we got some 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 heads very heavy prime king kong heads a deodon head for the first time we got this potion we got some chibis lots of chibis look at all the meat we've got because i found also a golden pteranodon and then I found one immediately after. Anyways, have a look at our stash of meat now. Just, just, just by the way, we have a lot of it. So when it comes to sacrificing again or even crafting up health potions, um, we should be good for it. Wait a second. I just realized I went and collected some tech sword um, blueprints because obviously we learned yesterday that we can actually sacrifice these things or at least re-roll them. So now that we've got all these fresh heads that we collected from all that prime killing, um, maybe I should do exactly that. So, um, let us hop into my little gerboy here and let's see what we can pull from this guy. That's if he wants to take these, these tech blueprints because sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Yeah, this is what, see this, oh no, he did. Oh, he did. Okay then. For some reason, I didn't think he was going to, but interesting. All right, let's combine a phoenix sword with a, no, well, yeah, I guess it's a phoenix head with a sword. Does that make a phoenix so what is this an ascendant minigun version 2 now i've never seen one of those before third roll here we guys oh it's a heart that's what i want to be seeing that is what i want to be seeing and last but not least another rainbow gun with another phoenix head give me either a really cool gun that i don't have or just another heart would be nice too to be honest another heart that's fantastic you'll love to see it and while we're here, we'll go and drop our fresh new little Pteranodon as well. And we're off to a rocking start. <gasps> hey, where did this come from? That is a really good saddle. Hold on, buddy. You might be about to get a saddle upgrade. You are getting a massive saddle upgrade. Oh my gosh. I apologize for not giving that to you sooner. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Okay, it's time to share with you my plan. I think it's time we return to our manticores, except I think it's time we go for some evolutions. You see, right here, we have two forms that we can evolve our manticores into. One of them is fire, the other is ice. From memory, I think the ice one is better, but I think I actually might have the stuff for the fire version. Fire, wyvern, talons, pretty sure I got a few of those. 
Alpha Dodo Rex head. I've never killed a Dodo Rex, but I've got the head of one for some reason. And a Prime Phoenix head that I might have just sacrificed, but hopefully we've got another one. All we're missing is Alpha Dragonstones. Now, the thing about Alpha Dragonstones, I couldn't remember where to get these things. I thought maybe we need to kill a Prime Dragon, but it is an Alpha Stone which usually means you need to kill an apex. The thing is, I've never obtained one. We've never got one. I've killed dragons. We've never got dragon stones. So I went and checked my old series to find out where we got them previously. And it turns out we just killed regular apex dragons. So we're gonna go and kill some regular apex dragons. Time off it on friends. Let's set out and, and let's go find some dragons, I suppose. I'll throw my little Dimorphid on Chibi back in his little slot to give us a power boost. And uh, yeah, I, I need some dragons. Lucky for us, they're not very hard to find. So the only like logical conclusion I can draw with these dragons and the reason we don't have any alpha dragon stones yet is maybe they just are a very rare drop or I'm just killing the wrong things. I'm not entirely sure. But hopefully that changes today. Oh, snap. That is a strong manticore. I thought I was literally about to fire a blast at that. But that's ideally what we want to be fighting soon. That is a prime Y. They're strong. Very, very strong. Which is why I'm not going anywhere near it right now. But when the time comes, you better believe I'm going to. Still no dragons, though. So, unfortunately, I uh, couldn't find any dragon nests in the old desert. So, kind of feeling a little let down by it. But I'm not going to let it stop me. We're going to keep on searching. That's an Apex Griffin. I mean, a Prime Griffin. Whatever. I can fight it. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> hey, I honestly thought that was just a regular uh, regular one. But let's, let's go. Let's go, son. Let's go. Bring it on. Try your best. Try me. Try me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Prime Kibble. Give me more of that. Can always do with a little more of that. But everything else here is pretty much... Well, I, I, I feel bad saying it. But it's, it's junk. Oh, hey, Roden. I'm coming for you soon, mate. Don't you worry. As soon as I get this kind chess piece, you're coming next. You're coming next, mate. I'm telling you. Anyways, back on the hunt. We got any like up here somewhere? Ooh, that's a big old, that's a big old unique aloe. I'll take, oh, okay. I didn't take him down. Somebody beat me to it, but I need that backpack. I think, no, I guess not. There's nothing really special inside of it, unfortunately. Oh, that's a big old scorpion. Oh, it's a prime. Oh, it's got fast HP. Oh, gosh. Oh, he got some. Oh, he just summoned in his little minions, too. Oh, yeah, he didn't do that yesterday. So yesterday, we literally encountered the first of these guys that we'd ever encountered. And here we are with the second one. What are the chances of that? Uh, do I take it on? I'm going to try. We're obviously going to follow similar, I guess, strategy that we did yesterday. Unfortunately, though, he's got that HP regen, which means we are... I don't know if we're going to be able to deal damage fast enough, but we're sure going to try. Uh, we just can't go anywhere near him because his poison will absolutely decimate us. Also, I just realized not only does he have the HP regen, but he also got that high defense, which means I can't even damage him at full strength, which is a little disappointing. Uh, he's also got extra targeting range, which is, I guess, bad because I, he might be able to poison me out of the sky. I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to keep on firing balls down because uh, I think he's in that general area and we're doing it. In fact, ooh, something I didn't realize, but um, he can't heal because I guess we're hitting him with fire damage. And for whatever reason, I guess that means that he can't heal himself up because he's taking damage after we hit him with a fireball. That's great. Also, for some reason, we're not seeing damage indicators. Like, the, we're, we're obviously hitting him, but we're not seeing... There's the numbers. I was going to say, we're not seeing the numbers. Maybe I'm just, like, slightly out of range or something. All right, here we go. Home stretch. Home stretch. Just don't run away. Just sit still. Just... Quetzal! Did you not watch what I just did to your buddy? Also, I'm out of stamina now. Oh, you got to be joking. You got to be kidding me. Oh, he's so close. Oh, no. Oh, my guy's landing. My guy's landing. That's not good. Okay. Really not good. Not good when I've just been... Okay, we got to take flight. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, we got up just in time. He was coming for us. Do I just keep firing at him again? I'm going to try. If I can hit him with... Oh, he's going to heal up so much. All right. I actually need to land. I don't have a choice. I have a choice. He's coming. He's running over. I can see him. He's trying to. He's stuck on trees and mountains and all sorts. But we're... F okay, we're good. We've got enough stamina. We've got enough stamina. All right. You guys, I'm sure by the end of this series, at some stage, you're going to witness the pure strength of this scorpion. And you're going to understand why I'm absolutely terrified. If you've been on the channel, watching my videos for, you know, a year or two, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
or if you've seen anyone else's playthroughs of this mod, you know, you know, you 100% know what I'm talking about. These guys are not ones you want to mess with, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Okay, lovely, lovely. Let's get him harvested just to make sure he's finished off and um, we will see what we got from that. Some pretty juicy stuff. What is that? Astrocita saddle. Yeah, it's actually not that great. Uh, it's not that great. Uh, it's not that great. Uh, what are you going to do? That's okay. Can't do much about it. Now, you better believe I'm going to be going through this swamp right now because yesterday it was like a bless. Oh, I thought that was an apex. I thought I was going to get some. Wait a second. Hello. Oh. Oh, a Mega Cardo? A, well, uh, we, we definitely, most certainly can take these. <gasps> There's a leech. Wait, this is the exact spot that I thought we saw a leech yesterday. Wait, what? <laughs> That's craziness. I, in case you don't remember yesterday, I thought I saw a leech, but all it was, well, it was a Sarko next to a Zomdodo, and it led me to the Zomdodo. Uh, but anyways, there is a leech out here as well as... A Megacano. Well, I'm going to try and take on the Megacano. You better believe it. I reckon we can sweep the floor with him. We just got to be careful of his little minions. We learned that last time. But last time, I didn't have a Dimorphodon to help take him down. Last time, we only had our Manticore. So I think we might be in with a real good shot at getting this done really, really quickly too. We are absolutely melting him. Megacano, get absolutely annihilated. And please don't summon in your minions because I don't feel like fighting your little, or dying to your minions more like it. We're about to kill this guy with one. Oh, okay. That kind of, okay. Yeah, stamina time. It's stamina time. As much as he is close to dying, um, he is right next to the leech now. And leech summons in his little poison minions and will, well, can't kill us in a single shot. So we are not let yet out of the woods. Oh, he's got his little minions coming too now. I can see them down there. I can see them. We just hit one of them directly as well. There's a few up there though. Um, oh, there's a few that are coming straight for us too. All right, can you guys go away? I don't feel like fighting you minions. That's okay, good shot. And again, uh, and again, and again. There we go. And one more. And one more, I said. All right, there we go. All right, come on, Mega Kano. Show me what you got, Megacardo. Megacardo, it's time to go, Megacardo. You don't have much health left, mate. Your time and number is limited. And you're dead. And you are dead. He gave me an Alpha Gorilla Head. Yo! Alpha Gorilla Head, Poison Wyvern Eye, Fire Wyvern Eye, Diabet Tooth, Brains, Terror Bird, Ebola Hearts. <gasps> he gave me a Dragon Stone. <laughs> Wait a second. That's, that's what we need. That's the whole reason we're out here right now. We're looking for dragon stones. How many dragon stones do I need though? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need three. No, we need two more. That, I mean, that's that's one down, two to go. Alpha Dota Rex head and Prime Phoenix head. We've got it all. I think I just need two dragon heads, but then we've also got this here now. Lightning Wyvern Talons. I think I've got them. Maybe not, actually. Alpha Gorilla Heads and Prime Yeti Head. I don't have Prime Yeti Head, but what well, we just got an Alpha Gorilla Head. I don't even know what, what it, the Gorilla Head's for, though. But we've... we've I, don't, I don't think we've got any of these, basically. But now we do. We've got one. I just need another one. All right. You know what? Let's let's kill the leech now. Dude, my Dimorphodon is an absolute machine. I don't know what to tell you. But look at this damage. It is insanity. It is actual insanity how strong this guy is. I swear he's stronger since yesterday too. Also, leech dead already. That was really, really fast. Um, oh, wow. <gasps> oh, <gasps> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. It's, I got, he's got the right helmet. The right helmet. The last piece of the enhanced riot set that we've been, we've been, we've been we needed. We've got it. I don't care about the medal right now. We've got a full set of enhanced right at last. No way. Oh, where is it? There it is. It's a, it's a blueprint. It's a blueprint. Oh my gosh. We've 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 done it. We've got the full set of riot. That's that's awesome. That's great. Um, I don't have it on me though. I just need man. All we need now is the chitin chest piece, but we just can't pull it. The day will come, I'm sure of it. But that day, well, it's not, we don't have it yet. We just have to keep on looking for it. Oh my gosh, the luck, the luck. We're pulling crazy rolls. Also, I was gonna say, I saw a wyvern out here a second ago. It's a tropical wyvern. 
I'd be interested if it was a lightning wyvern, but it doesn't seem to be. The only thing that's really disappointing me so far is the fact that we, for whatever reason, can't find any dragon's nests. We're finding a lot of other stuff, but not a single dragon's nest. Hey, you know what we've never been this entire series? This place. We have never... Is that a Mega Kano? It's just an alpha. Oh my gosh, I Lou. Got excited there for a second. We've never been to the little redwood forest biome island over here. I don't know what spawns out here or if there's... I imagine we might get a dire bear if we're lucky. But I can't imagine... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some wyverns or dragons or something hiding out here. But it uh, seems pretty barren. Seems pretty uneventful. There's flying sharks though, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> it's funny these megalodons for some reason just spawn out of the water. It's, it's kind of funny to see. Yeah, we got some... I don't know what that was. Oh, there's a whole pile of dinosaurs over there. Hey, guys. Terror birds and gallimimimuses. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too exciting. But after yesterday's shenanigans out here, just random dinosaurs in the water in the sky, I'm... I was gonna say, I'm tempted... What is that? A Spino X? I... I... I, I don't even know what that is. I've never seen one of these before. I... Is that new? Um, interesting. He doesn't have some crazy abilities that I don't know about or something, does he? I, mean, I really just want to put a shot on him just to see what happens, but, um, okay. Well, that just proves my point. I wanted to come out here to see if there's any crazy dinosaurs in the sky. Uh, and this guy literally just spawned in front of us, in front of our eyes. Now I need to hit it with a fireball just to see what happens. I need to see what happens. Because he's a, he's an X. He's, he's, a, he's technically a prime, I guess. Did my fireballs make it into water or... Yeah, no, no, he's got... He's a prime. He's a prime. I can see it. I can see the little... Well, I hit him. Should really be careful that because we are above water at the end of the day. And yeah, you know what? I shouldn't be attacking any dinosaurs that I don't know much about. Just like that. Um, yeah, that's the guy I wanted to fight. Yes. No, that's a different... Is that the same one? I just saw a manticore over there. Is that the mega? That's not the mega, surely. Oh, that is the Mega. I didn't realize Megas can just randomly stop and, you know, have a little bit of a rest, but fair enough. All right. I, I kind of want to get this Spino to land just because I'll feel safer fighting him. <laughs> fighting him at land, especially because he is a water. He's an aquatic dinosaur. You do not fight dinosaurs in their natural habitats. You want to bring them to your straight... Oh, is he flying or swimming right now? It kind of looked... It kind of looked... Okay, he's... Interesting. Interesting. All right. If I can kind of like get him stuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've lost control. Oh, he's actually stuns me. Oh, this fall damage might hurt. All right. At least we're not in water. See, this is why I was cautious. This is why I was cautious. And I'm, am I stuck on the mountain? No, we're good. Okay. I can fly. I can fly. Okay. This is why it pays to be extra careful. Um... Okay, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm very glad. I'm going to do that with every single dinosaur from now on. We're almost lucky that the Dodo Rex didn't freeze us um, yesterday. That random Mega Dodo Rex out in the ocean. Because <laughs> that could have gone just as bad. Um, okay, basically, I just have to make sure that I don't have momentum moving to... Yep, there he goes. He stunned me again. Now, I don't know what sort of damage he's going to deal either, which is problematic because... I'm, I'm, he, actually, I got stamina. Oh, wait, no, of course I got stamina. He's freezing me. Okay, we basically need to, oh, he healed up? How did he heal up so quick? I just got to make sure that I'm moving away from him at all times. That way, when he does inevitably freeze us again, I fly backwards and not towards him. Um, okay, I just want to get away from him because I hear, I don't like the angle that we're currently fighting at. But he's, I don't know, he's healing up fast he does that crazy yeah he's done me again he's done me again okay now's my chance to just get shots in just get shots in uh yep okay we're not falling in the water that's always nice to see a little bit of fall damage but it's fine and we're up again okay where's he at though is he coming up or not what an interesting dinosaur he's full health again i think it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, he's full health. How do you keep getting full health, mate? He heals so darn fast. He stunned me. He stunned me. He stunned that quest too, I'm pretty sure too. He just stuns everything. Oh, he's invulnerable. He has, he somehow reaches, I don't know. Okay, he's obviously got an attack. That one grounds all flyers, but two, 
It makes him invulnerable. But also, he is stuck in this little ditch right here. All right, he stuns me. Whatever. Whatever. Is he invulnerable again? Probably. But that's fine. I fell asleep and landed up here. Okay. What do you have active right now? He's invulnerable. He's invulnerable. How do you keep making yourself... How do you take this guy down? Because that's a crazy ability. Knocks you out the sky and then makes himself invulnerable. What even? So I basically need to hit... Oh, here he goes again. I don't think he's invulnerable this time around. I don't know if he's healing or not. But either way, I'm safe. As long as I'm safe, I don't care. But this is one of those instances it might actually be worthwhile using my tech rifle. All right, maybe it's when he hits water. No, nah, there he goes again. He's invulnerable. Invulnerable again. Maybe when you stop attacking him. I don't even know why I'm firing shots right now because none of them are affecting him. I wonder if I can stay just outside of his range. Like, I wonder... I wonder if there is a... Nah, he's frozen me again. I was going to say, I'm not hitting him with my balls, but he is still affecting me with this. Wow, this guy's tough. Okay, then. Well, I've got the... I've got the... The height buff on him. All right, I need to land. I'm going to try something a little different here. This isn't our normal style. But surely... I can do something like this. Imagine if he somehow scales this cliff. All right, can I just take him down with my own weapon? Yes! Oh, yeah! Okay, that's some sick damage. But look at that. He's invulnerable. Stop invulnerabling yourself. It's not fair. Okay, wait for the invulnerable. I wonder if it's the hydration that's doing it. No clue. But we can definitely deal a lot of damage with this weapon. I just got to make sure we don't overpower it, overcharge it, all of that sort of stuff. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. He's not going invulnerable just yet. No heals just yet, but we've overdone it. Okay, fine. I got arrows. No, come back. Oh, as if that didn't hit. Oh, he's invulnerable. He's invulnerable. <laughs> come back over here, Spino. I should have just kept this gun out. <gasps> okay. He didn't heal up all the way, though. So as long as we deal enough damage... Ah, oh, this silly gun, man. As long as we deal enough damage, I think... He, he won't heal up all the way, maybe. He can only heal a certain amount, perhaps. I got no idea. But he's worked me out and he's trying to find another way up. And look how close he got as well. Oh, he's a smart old fella. Well, I'll be back for you one day, mate. Maybe once I've got my fresh evolved magical ready to go. For now, though, you survive. You get to survive today. Dragon. Dragon. That's 100% going to be a prime dragon, though, isn't it? Or a mega. Is that a mega dragon? I haven't, don't think I've seen a mega dragon before. That is indeed a mega dragon. And I'm assuming that's the mega manticore. Okay, I'm going to stay low to the ground then. No, thank you very much. You know what? I know it's got absolutely nothing to do with the ultimate goal of today, but I can't help but feel this guy needs to be taken down. Like, must be taken down. This Spino needs to go. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Try and climb the mountain. Oh my gosh, he's actually going to get me. Oh, he's like way too close. All right, he's a lot closer than I thought he was going to get. But he's also invulnerable. But not anymore, he's not. Not anymore. All right, I'm just going to tap the living daylights out of this. And hopefully, he does not move. But basically, I think the reason he's not moving is because he is the closest. Why did I just burn my gun out? That was so silly. But I think he's the closest he can possibly get. I don't think there is another good way of getting up here. Which means he's allowing me to just annihilate him. I'll say, I'm just keeping... Oh, he's invulnerable. Okay, let the gun recharge. Let the gun recharge. we got three seconds. I'm going to go again. Okay, I didn't actually expect this attempt to be any better than the previous attempts. But we're actually doing a pretty good job here. Man, I just want one of these of my own. They're like... I, I, I love Spinos. And having one of this power... Look, he just dropped his grounding ability. He grounded that Quetzal right next to us. All right, okay. He's going to use his invulnerability soon. So I just need to get as many in there as I possibly can. 
Oh, don't you run. Don't you run. He's healing. Is he healing? It looked like he had a bit of a healing buff. He's trying to run. Oh, he's trying to run. All right, I got to recharge. got to recharge. Stop, 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 stop. Please stop. He's invulnerable. He's healing. He's healing. He might come back for more then. That's fine. Okay, invulnerability is... Oh, you pile of trash. Never mind. He came back for more, but, you know, not before fully healing himself, of course. Because he would do that, wouldn't he? Oh, and he's invulnerable. Why am I even firing shots at you right now? He doesn't even have crazy, like, healing buffs. He doesn't have, like, super heals or anything like that. He just heals rid oh, ridiculously quick. Plus, he's got the invulnerability. There's not a lot I can do to prevent him. And then he just runs away when the time comes just to make things extra more annoying. All right, back below 100,000. I don't know what I'm paying closer attention to. My gun overheating. Quetzal, what are you doing? You're in the worst possible time, place ever. Yep, okay, you got grounded. That's what you deserve. Um, But let's go, let's go, let's go. Quetzal, mate, move your booty. What are you doing? He's down below 80,000, but now he's back above 80,000 because that's what he does. He's going to try to run. Yes. No. Just sit right there. Sit still. Sit still. He's down to like 50,000. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, you suck so bad. I hate this Spino so much. Now he's like fully healed too. Of course he is. Okay, I'm actually on a bit of a hot streak here. I don't know how much health he's got, but he was letting me get some pretty good shots in without moving around much, which was really, really nice for a change. But now I just need to make sure... Okay, he's invulnerable. So I got time. I got time to reset. And now we got to go again. I need to kill this guy. Like, I need to. It's a matter of... It's a do or die situation. Not really. But as long as I make sure I don't fall straight on him when he eventually, inevitably, does his grounding ability, which is right there. And let me just jump straight back up. I've got him down to 50,000. So... I, all I gotta do is hit him with like... Ah, oh, he's invulnerable though. Of course he is. Of course he is. There is also the chance I could just melee him to death. Like, I don't know what sort of damage he deals, but it's a Spino, which means I'm, 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 I can only assume he's gonna hit us really, really heavily. All right, we've actually got him so low right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please don't go invulnerable. Oh, I actually did it. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay then. All right. Um, I, I, yeah, cool. I'm, I completely missed it happening, but I knew he was low. I didn't think he was that ready to go though. And we've done it just like that. Okay. Oh my gosh. I was so ready to give up on about 17 different occasions. He has a ton of loot. All right. We'll have a look at what we just picked up in a second, but whoa. <gasps> <laughs> the journeyman dogs chitin enhanced shirt we've got it we finally got the full set of chitin yo of all guys to give it to oh i'm so glad i stuck that out we've done it we've finally got the full set we've 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 actually oh my gosh oh <laughs> Did not expect him to give it to me. Unfortunately, no dragon stones. But hello, we have the full set. We've got it. We finally, we finally completed it. Can I just quickly share with you what that means? This is the ultimate dinosaur killing set. We have increased torpor resistance. We have we we don't have burn effects. We can't be set on fire anymore as long as we've got this set on. And neither can our teams. We've got 10% increased melee, 50% increased stamina, 10% increased boo, uh, b speed. On top of that, we also have 100% increased health for player only. That's disappointing. Not for teams. Apply all perks for each armor piece to the player as well. Yeah, that's whatever. It doesn't really excite me. But set the bonus. The set bonus, 25% reduced dino damage taken now, which means our dude here can take 25% more damage. But we can now fight fire dinosaurs without getting set on fire and burning to a crisp which means dragons, which means fire wyverns, which also eventually means Rosen, who we know is out here somewhere. Oh, this is so darn good. This is insane. And I guess technically fireman to cause too. Well, we're back home. And unfortunately, we didn't end up getting everything we need to evolve our manticore, which is really disappointing. But that's fine. We ticked one out of three of those boxes off. And uh, well, we got something far, far more important. This entire set of chitin gear. I know it's hard to get excited about chitin gear, but trust me, 
This is really, really good. Really, really good. And that's not to mention all the other loot that we got. So tomorrow, maybe we evolve a Manticore. Or maybe we try and fight something far stronger. You'll have to tune in to find out. <laughs>